Hello, I'm Dr. Rich Blake, and today we're going to talk about perineal tendon examination. And then in another video, we'll talk about how to tape the perineal tendons. So the perineal tendons protect the outside of the ankle, and there's a longus, what's called the perineus longus, which goes just below the knee and comes all the way down, goes around the back of the ankle, uh, and goes then under the foot and attaches near the big t the, uh, the arch uh, at the base of the first metatarsal. The perineus brevis starts lower and comes down again along the, the outside of the ankle, comes around the back of the ankle and attaches into the base of the fifth metatarsal. Both, in essence, will protect the outside of the ankle uh, when it's stressed or they'll be injured when you invert your foot or if you, you're a supinator. Um, when we, we test those uh, tendons, uh, the perineus brevis is tested with the foot pointed. And uh, this is very important to differentiate between the longus and the brevis because it can change your treatment. So uh, the, the perineus brevis, we point, point the ankle and then have the patient push uh, with, with all their might against your hand uh, to the outside. So push out and hold it there, hold it, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm testing the tone of that tendon to make sure it's really um, strong. One of the reasons we do test it is, is on MRI, Sometimes a tendon, just how it works or how it looks, uh, can the MRI report can say it's it's torn or partially torn, and I test the tendon and it's totally fine. So you can't quite use MRI uh, in terms of perineal disease to know if if it's really injured or, or not. So so that's the brevis with the ankle pointed. The, the longus is tested with the ankle in a neutral or a, or a dorsiflex position. So you, you pull the ankle up where the, the foot uh, and leg are in a right angle. Then from that position, you, you again have the patient push against your foot, pulling their foot to the outside. Okay, push really hard. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can see with, with this individual, both the perineus longus and the perineus brevis are really uh, very strong. Now, some subtleties with it, you can uh, give yourself, th this is what we call neutral, where the, where the leg lines up with the, the foot, uh, the, the tibia lines up with the second toe and they pull out to their maximum eversion position. You can also give, you can pick up subtle weaknesses by having the patient start inverted and go, just go to neutral. This gives you, the, the examiner, the advantage and actually can pick up some subtle weaknesses. So after you test it normally, you can have the patient again point their foot, invert their foot, and then from that position, try to evert against your hand. So pull out as hard as you can, one, two, and you see the patient has a harder time firing those muscles and pushing out. Barely, she's barely moving my hand. So that's for the brevis, and then pull your foot up, pull your foot in first, okay? Then from that position, push out. So she's stronger with the longest in pulling out. So these are, these are two very subtle ways of sometimes picking up pain and weakness from the tendon. So, and that can clue you into what's going on with the patient, especially when they have pain around the outside of the ankle and you're not sure, is it, is it the ankle? Is it the subtalar joint? Is it the perineal tendons uh, that, that is sore? Um, another thing that we do all the time 
is tell the patient to fatigue the muscles, to go run on the treadmill, to go do a dance class before their next visit. Um, do something that would tire the muscle out. And then we test them in normal position and sometimes the muscle fatigues really quickly. There's not a way of, of uh, uh, noting that other than fatigue tends to pick on that muscle and make it weaker. So that's another reason we'll have to protect it with tape. So the next video we're going to show uh, on this uh, blog uh, is uh, on perineal tendon taping with, with Luco tape. So I hope that that helps uh, the examiner, but also the patient know that there's two tendons out there and we've got to isolate them in terms of making a, a correct diagnosis. Thank you very much.